All right, so <laughs> the 2023 season has come to an end for uh, Waynesville, sadly. You know, I, I have to admit, I was disappointed. Not not disappointed with you Waynesville girls, but more disappointed that your season was over because I was really enjoying watching y'all. Y'all are really fun to watch, right? Y'all might not realize this, but I was at that game against Miamisburg at the very beginning of the season. I was there. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I was really hoping for Waynesville to make state this year. I mean, it would have made me really happy seeing that, you know, going, winning state in Division II, uh, maybe going against uh, Rocky River and winning state. That would have been a tremendous, tremendous deal. Uh, but I'll be completely honest, as proud as of you girls as I am, there were some areas... I hope, listen, I hope you girls don't take this stuff the wrong way. But as soccer players, as athletes in general, you should be open to criticism, right? It only makes you better. It only makes you smarter, makes you stronger, makes you better play, players in general, right? So I walked in with about 18 minutes left to play in the first half. I literally walked in right when Summit scored. And... I kind of shook my head because it's one of those goals that I kind of warned against in my pregame post because I'm like, eh, you know, that player is going to get these off. Now, I wasn't <laughs> expecting her to get a hat trick in the game, but I knew how dangerous she can be just based off of their play style versus your play style. And <laughs> I turned out to be right and I kind of... And mad at myself for being right, you know. Uh, <laughs> I think some people took what I said wrong. They, some people thought that I was uh, hinting that Summit would win, but that's not the case. I was just pointing out areas of the field where Summit could give you problems if it's not kept in check. I do that with all of my game posts. I'm not necessarily saying the other team is going to win. I'm just telling you there's certain areas of the field where they're more dangerous against you than what they would be against maybe another team, you know? Uh, it all comes down to play styles. I always say that styles make matchups, right? So, yeah, I walked in right when Summit scores their first goal, but I wasn't panicking because I know that you Waynesville girls can turn things up when you want to. But here's the thing, man. I thought, and please, again, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to give you my honest thoughts and opinions, right? You know, I was yelling my head off in that second half. Um, but for the game that I saw, <clears throat> the, what, 68 minutes that I was there, I just felt like you girls kind of robbed yourselves of a victory because you weren't utilizing some of the weapons that you have. Again, don't take this the wrong way. I, I love Sam as a soccer player. She's a fantastic player. One of my favorite players, hands down, she's the best female scorer in the entire state, period, in any division, period. There's no doubt about it. There's no question there, right? It's Sam is a dynamic scorer, period. She's the best, but she's not the only option. I felt, especially in the second half, you girls were kind of panicking a little bit, uh, attempting to force feed Sam the ball, you know, and you girls weren't playing soccer anymore. Like you kind of were going again, li literally doing the things. Not, not, not saying that you have to listen to me. I'm not your coach or anything, right? But I, I warned about playing the long ball in my pregame post, right? I, I definitely warned about that. <sighs> I said that you girls got to play some soccer, right? But in that game. You girls were falling in love with the long ball and attempting to force feed Sam the ball. It's unrealistic to expect Sam to be able to beat three defenders. She was surrounded. She was swarmed every single time. Now, when you see that, that means somebody else has to step up and become an option. You know, I, I was kind of disappointed that you girls weren't attacking the wings. I, I mean, in the second half, I was yelling my head off, 
attack the flags, attack the flags, attack the flags, spread those defenders out. If you want Sam to score, you want, you want, you know, want to give her the ball and let her get loose and score. You got to spread those defenders out some way. And the best way to do that is by attacking high, luring defenders out, luring at least one of them out to you. Because if one steps out to you, there's going to be a big gap right there right between the flag and the goal box there's going to be a big flag right there so somebody has to step in and kind of cover that space right there right to make sure that the ball even if you get past that one defender that stepped out that even that you cannot uh find an angle for a shot or try to service the ball in so somebody has to step in and uh be a presence in that space that's going to be there the big gap that's going to be right there now when that happens now Sam is loose. Now she's free. Now she's free to get a touch and maybe get a shot off. But instead of attacking the flags and attacking that high corner, we were centering the ball too soon, either trying to make cuts through there, running right into traffic, or trying to force feed Sam the ball and expect her to get a clean touch and a clean shot off against three defenders. That's just unrealistic. That, that is never going to happen. I don't care how good your striker is. It doesn't matter who it is. It wouldn't matter if it was Anna Manning or, or Kinsey uh, or, 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 or Peyton or whoever. Honestly, it would not matter because it's unrealistic for any player to be able to score on three defenders in a soccer game. It's just unrealistic. Maybe it happens, but more than likely it doesn't. So in that scenario, you got to get numbers up there. You got to make these defenders come out and challenge. You got to look dangerous. Okay, so that's how you break down that back line is by looking dangerous, putting numbers in there on the attack, making those defenders make some decisions. Okay, here we are. If we got to play three people on Sam, there's two or three other girls that are wide open for shots. So maybe we have to go man to man. Maybe somebody has to step out and challenge them. That's how you break down that back line. So, you know, next season, it, it, it's kind of a big question mark what Waynesville is going to look like. But I believe that you girls are still going to be a really strong team. You got a lot of capable players still. You got some girls from the JV team that are going to be coming up that are really capable. You have the girls currently on the roster that are going to be really capable. So you're still going to be a strong team next season. You know, so, you know. Uh, I don't want to just drill what you did wrong in that game. Um, at the end of the day, I'm really proud of you girls. You had a fantastic season. No doubt in my mind, you were easily one of the best teams like in any division. Um, I believe that you could have competed with any team from any division. So I have to admit, I'm a little sad that so many you have so many seniors because I'm going to miss them. Like th this was a squad, you know, like I really enjoyed watching Waynesville soccer, especially in games where you girls were just on and operating on a high level. It was really fun for me, a soccer geek to watch. I'm sorry, I'm sweating, by the way, I just came from the gym. But uh, I mean, that, that it's just really fun for me to dissect really high level teams, you know. Um, for those of you who are going to be playing college ball, you know, I'm going to still be keeping up with you and everything. Uh, if you want to work with me during the off season, get in touch with me, you know, you know how to contact me through Instagram and everything. So I just want you girls to know that, you know, I was really proud of y'all. Like even with the result of that game, you know, a little bit disappointed that, uh, you know, that your season came to an end, but Still really proud of you, you know, and I mean, you girls had a lot of chemistry out there. It looked like you girls were having fun and all of that. So I just want y'all to know, like, you know, it was a really I thought it was a really good season. And I am proud to say that I'm, I've become a Waynesville supporter. I'm going to be at a lot of games next season. So uh, if you see me around somewhere, say hi, get a selfie, you know, uh, keep in touch with me on Instagram. Uh, if you play clubs, send me your schedules. I'll come check you out. All of that. So I'll see y'all around.